someone is in the wall. It's and it's uh, Williams right in front of our commentary box. It's Here Robert Kibitza. And we can see there a red flag already. Robert Kibitza in the Williams. And a strange place, Paul, for a car to have an accident. Let's just have a little look. He's got on the grass. Oh, once you get on the grass, Paul, there's no escaping. No, it's not like a car snapped or anything. He just ran out of road, didn't he? Oh, dear. And this is Robert Kibitza, who was retired, if you remember, from Sochi, because the team were worried about spare parts. Um, we're trying to make sure they didn't run out of spare parts. You OK, Robert? Yeah, I'm OK, but it's a joke. Oh, and it's another spin. So I think he's gone into the barriers in as the well. Ball. And it's one of the Hasses. We've got another red flag. It's Kevin Magnussen. This is what happened to Kevin Magnussen. Oh, the wind's got him already. And there's, he's just a passenger, isn't he? Well, you can see he was actually trying to do the best he could as he was reversing in the wall there. Uh, but you're never gonna, you're never gonna be quite up to speed to save that one. That, that to me, Paul, looks like a gust of wind and nothing to do with driver there I at all. I actually think if he'd stayed on the brakes, he would have stopped. But it was when he released the brakes at that point, yeah. on it went. But of course, what he was trying to do was avoid the car going too far one way. And towards the line we go now, P16 becomes P10 uh, for Lance Stroll. Perez is in danger, isn't he? He certainly is, but Perez can do something about it. Kimi Raikkonen, only P12. He had a, a bit of a scruffy final sector for Kimi Raikkonen. Here comes Danny Ricciardo, only 14th fastest for Daniel Ricciardo. He is in trouble. Giovinazzi goes 11th uh, fastest, pushes Daniel Ricciardo down into 15th. Here's Hulkenberg. a teammate, Hulkenberg, and, and he pushes his teammate into the bottom five. And the checker flag is now flying. So Lando Norris is the next to cross the line. P9 at the moment, he's going to be safe, goes fourth fastest actually in the end for Lando Norris. Pierre Gasly crosses the line, goes ninth fastest, now pushing his teammate Danny Kriat down towards the, uh, the drop zone. George Russell stays 18th fastest as we look now for Danny Kriat, who set a personal best first sector, but not a middle sector, and stays 15th fastest. Yo, I'll give comments once I get back. Yeah, copy that. I've uh, lost. Power steering or something and gear shift. Something's uh, a bit funny. Yeah, yeah. Do not change gear, do not change gear, Nico, do not change gear. Come back to the garage in the gear you're in. Scenario 12, please. Scenario 12, we have a major problem. Lando Norris once more taking a very uh, tight line uh, through that uh, final corner. A lot closer to the inside of the track than, than others. Norris goes P6 and Grosjean P9. He's saving the distance, isn't he? Isn't he just? It's uh, not a bad route through as well. Carlos Sainz uh, goes seventh fastest. Norris ahead of him by about six milliseconds. Here's Kimi Raikkonen now. Stays out of the top ten. And Lance Stroll thinking, oh, I've got a chance of getting Q3 here. No, I'm afraid Roman Grosjean's just beaten him. Giovinazzi uh, just misses out as well. Grosjean is P10 as we look to Danny Kvyat to cross the line, and he misses out by about four tenths of a second. Valtteri Bottas, who uh, uh, was on the front row here last year, and a set of time of a 1.27.6 for the rest of Chase. Here comes Hamilton, and Hamilton's lost time to his teammate. There's a tenth down. Bottas on provisional pole. Carlos Sainz will be next to cross the line, goes fourth fastest. Sebastian Vettel, though, flying through the middle sector and looking a very good bet for provisional pole. As Charles Leclerc goes quickest, a tenth up on the two Mercedes. Here comes Sebastian Vettel, four times a pole sitter here at Suzuka. Gets a massive round of applause from the Japanese fans. He's on provisional pole to make it a fifth. Here's Max Verstappen next across the line, and it's only fifth for Max Verstappen. That was a good lap, guys. That was a good lap. Carlos Sainz goes seventh fastest ahead of Lando Norris. Pierre Gasly down at P9 for the Honda Power Toro Rosso. Leclerc is nearly two tenths up. Very good middle sector as well. Best we've seen so far. Bottas and Hamilton at least a tenth off the two Ferraris through the first sector. Leclerc round the final corner. Can he take provisional pole? No, he can't. He's lost out in the final sector and is a few hundreds down to his run of consecutive pole positions. Comes to an end. Verstappen crosses the line and the Red Bull is not up to the power of Mercedes and 
Ferrari here in Suzuka. Next across the line, Sebastian Vettel. It is five pole positions here at Suzuka for Sebastian Vettel. Unless Mercedes can do something about it. Alex Albon is level with his teammate exactly the same time as Verstappen. Verstappen had his first, that's why he's ahead on the grid. Bottas only third fastest. Here comes Lewis Hamilton. He can't make it five poles for a Japanese Grand Prix today at Suzuka on this Super Sunday. Part one has been won by Sebastian Vettel. Pole position, pole position. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Grazie ragazzi, la macchina è stata bellissima stamattina, grazie, il circuito preferito, grazie. And with the 15th front row lockout for 31 Grand Prix here at Suzuka, Ferrari also equal Mercedes Formula One record of 64 front row lockouts as well. And for once, Charles Leclerc is having to play second fiddle in qualifying to his teammate.